The Emoji Sense extension for VS Code adds suggestions for emojis into VS Code's IntelliSense. Now to demonstrate this, let's take a look at it in action in a Markdown document. So here I have some Markdown, and say that I want to insert a smiley face emoji. Rather than opening up my emoji keyboard or anything like that, I can just type colon, and now the Emoji Sense extension is providing a list of available emojis that can be inserted. Um, so I can just scroll through this list, I could start typing. So if I wanted smile fa smiley faces, for example, I can go through the list here. If I wanted cats, you can see all these available. So let's just do a classic smiley face. And when I hit enter, you can see that sure enough, the emoji has been inserted. So that is the basic operation of the Emoji Sense extension. You can um, search through the list of available emojis. So if I wanted dog, just do dog there. Um, so you can insert emojis very easily. But there's some more advanced features as well. So one of them is that in Markdown and some other languages, you can actually write emojis um, just by doing something like this. So you'd say smile. And in this case, I have a uh, colon and then the word smile and then another colon. And one thing the Emoji Sense extension will do is actually help preview what that emoji would look like when it's rendered. So here you can see that the Emoji Sense extension has added a little smiley face here that is previewing what this um, would look like when it is rendered. Now the extension can also help you actually write this raw text. If you don't want to have the raw emoji in, um, in your document, it can help you write the colon syntax for inserting the emoji, which a markdown renderer would then convert into a real emoji. So to do that, just type two colons and then the name of the emoji that you want. So if I wanted smile here, just type smile, and then it has converted that over into the correct syntax with a colon at either side. There's some more advanced configuration options as well, and you can enable or disable the Emoji Sense extension in any language that you're working with. I should say that I am the author of the Emoji Sense extension, so I am biased, but it is one that I find useful, especially when working in Markdown or text files. It's much more convenient for me than actually working with an emoji keyboard or anything like that.